Hey y'all, Kitchen Trap Queen here with some strawberry cheesecake stuffed French toast. Man, that was a mouthful. Um, if you're interested in learning how to make these guys, stay tuned. First, we're gonna start off with our cheesecake mixture. Yes, y'all, cream cheese. Again, y'all already know. Don't come for me. Um, this is some softened cream cheese. That was some sour cream, and we're gonna beat these until well incorporated. Now we're gonna add in our powdered sugar. Um, this was about one and a half cups of powdered sugar. And make sure you blend this on low speed or you will have powdered sugar everywhere. Now I'm gonna scrape down the sides of my bowl and add in my vanilla, y'all. This is Mexican vanilla. Mexican vanilla, let me tell y'all about this. It, the flavor of it is so good. It's so rich and deep. The first time I used it, my mom went on a cruise to Mexico and she brought back some Mexican vanilla and I was, man use mexican vanilla you'll thank me later um this is some french bread so since we are making french toast y'all you have to use french bread or some type of thick type of bread because i hate super soggy french toast and then plus we are going to add in our cheesecake and strawberries in the middle so it's going to need a thick base to hold up so I ended up um, getting eight slices of bread out of this one loaf and I set those to the side. Next, we're going to put together our egg mixture. Now y'all make sure you use a shallow bowl for this. Um, my bowl was too deep and when I submerged my French toast in it, it kind of came up over my bread. So don't do that y'all. I'll show you how I fix that. Um, later in the video and then once you put your three eggs in the bowl you're gonna scramble them and add in your milk some vanilla mexican vanilla and some cinnamon and go ahead and give that a mix for convenience i'm gonna use a can of strawberry pie filling y'all don't nobody got time to cut strawberries and add sugar and man i man i work so we're gonna use a can of strawberry pie filling and we're gonna build our french toast so you're just gonna add on a little bit of that cheesecake mixture and some of that pie filling and just build your french toast i did end up just adding one spoonful of the pie filling because i felt like it was going to kind of spill out on the sides So with the recipe, I ended up having this much left over. So you can get about uh, three to four more French toast out of this. Um, so if you want to half the recipe, that will be perfectly fine as well. So now we're just going to dip it. See, when I tell y'all my, my bowl was too deep, y'all, please use a shallow, um, <laughs> yeah use a shallow bowl but um you'll see what i did to kind of i guess fix it but i've seen people actually dip it and it went over the bread and they just you know um fried it on the outsides and they just left the i don't know but I, i'll show y'all what i did <laughs> So now I'm going to add some real butter to a skillet. Y'all, please use real butter. Don't use margarine. Please stop using margarine. It's not good for y'all anyways. Um, but, hey, who am I to say something? Um, so now we're just going to add some butter to a skillet on medium heat. And we're going to cook our French toast. Now, because I use the deep bowl, I'm going to just tilt or fry the um, outsides of it. Uh, because, you know, I have that raw egg on the outside and I just want it to be safe. So I did that on each side and um, I just placed that to the side. And then these were my other two that I fried. So 
So now I'm just gonna plate it with a couple of strawberries and some powdered sugar and that was it guys. Strawberry cheesecake stuffed French toast. These were very good. The only thing I would add is, I forgot to mention, is to put just a little bit of sugar in your egg mixture um, just for some added sweetness and i just ate it with some syrup and that was it y'all um make sure you like share subscribe all that good stuff and i will see you guys in the next video